good afternoon, y'alls. So, what I did is I did it. I did what I did. Got the shock in there. The shock hoop. Oh my gosh, I can't bend down. I gotta tighten that still. As you can see, that ball joint is flexed as far as it can go. <clears throat> Check to make sure those are tight. So I got a cotter, cotter key. Oh, need a cotter pin there. Got a cotter pin there. Got one down in there. I got one on the pitman arm. So I got that side done. Wore out, man. Ooh. Got this side done. So got all that cut down in there. So got the sway bar in links on. Cutter key there. Cutter key there. Cutter key somewhere over there. I see it. Sway bar in links in, cotter key, cotter key. So what I need to do is I need to get some bolts. I need to get some bolts for uh, the bottom of those shocks. Breaking my wife's thing. Whew. It's a pain in the butt, man. Pain in the rear. Um. Gotta find cutter key real quick. There's one in that bag, but there's one right here. Gotta say that uh, that lower ball joint, I had to use this big impact that my brother gave me. Can't think of him, thank him enough. Um, the ratchet, the Milwaukee ratchet. The, uh, whatever one it is, the better one. It's working awesome. Everything work good, works good. Took off some shock bolts. Not the other one. I don't think the other one would have been able to do it. So, I'm just going to see if, if this bolt is taut or not. Or this nut. It should be. Should be tight. I think I got it. I got it to where a cutter key can go in. Yeah. Okay, we're good there. So, cutter key in. Folder down and around. So, anyway, got the axle nuts tight. Um, everything's good except for I gotta do the brakes. Oh man. And, uh, I never did go in and eat yet, so let me just check, make sure these are tight. Okay, they should all be tight. Yeah, except for that chingalingi, which I believe is a 916. <laughs> So what I, what I, why I have it on jack stands, the reason is because I gotta tighten the control arms and everything. So everything clears. I got enough room around the shocks. Um, axle nuts tight. Got enough room around everything. I did change this upper 
ball joint, lower ball joint, everything's greased, all of them are greased. And, uh, yeah, so far so good. Uh, it was just a pain in the butt. Cutting those bump stop things it was really, really a pain in the butt. Um, because I couldn't get the blade in deep enough, so I had to go around on this side, go around, flip the, flip the thing over, stick a new blade on. So it's, uh, almost 1.30. Yeah, almost 1.30 right now. Probably should go in and eat. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I just gotta tighten those bolts with... A big ratchet. Tighten those real quick and then uh, jack it back up and uh, yeah throw the brakes on clean the calipers. I gotta clean the calipers a lot so I'll probably bring a box in so it'll catch a bunch of stuff. But anyway that's pretty much it. Kind of been a pain in the butt day. Sprinkled a little bit. Got humid really bad. That's about it, and then, uh, yeah, just been uh, wearing myself out. So, alright guys, I'm going to tighten those bolts. I am going to go inside. Next video will be brake pads, rotors. Rotors, it's about ready to fall. Um, probably fall on me anyway. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, do what you guys do. Comment, go to the playlist if you want to watch this whole build series project crack pipe 64 c10 whatever it's called it's uh it's in the playlist down below all right i'm gonna go thanks for watching subscribe you guys do what you do give me a thumbs up later guys